Let's go. Hey, it's Don. Welcome to Don't Worry, I'm Finite. I'm here with Kristen, and uh, this is, uh, what, what's this coffee Late shop called? Late for the train. Late for the train. Uh, I had the oat milk latte, and I highly recommend it. Very good. This is one of my favorite places. I come here to work from this nice outside space, and I always get an oat milk latte. And don't tell anyone, but sometimes I bring my own maple syrup and add it to, to my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, secrets. Secrets of Flagstaff. All right, now we're gonna go have brunch, and it's gonna be awesome. Let's go. Toasted Owl. We <laughs> had to put in our name ahead of time on a, on a Saturday morning for brunch because it is very crowded and popular here. Well, I'm here now at the Toasted Owl Cafe with my $3 mimosa. Uh, they have a great brunch menu with a fully vegan section. Uh, I got the vegan burrito. Very excited about that. Also, apparently they like owls here. This looks amazing. Vegan burrito with potatoes and vegan eggs. Goes well with a mimosa. All right, first verdict, that is delicious. <laughs> You're going knife and fork. I'm going just going, knife and fork. I'm just going straight in. So good. It's a big burrito, but it stays together well. Well done, Toasted Owl. This is the hardest decision when you have to decide if you're gonna eat the other half of a burrito <laughs> or take it with you, because it will be good later. We're saving room for beer, so. Saving room for beer, see that? <laughs> she's speaking my language now. What are your top three favorite vegan places in Flagstaff? My top three vegan friendly places in Flagstaff are, well, Red Curry Vegan Kitchen, which is all vegan. Um, I also really like the Toasted Owl because now they have more vegan options on the menu. And Sosoba is also really great. They only have a couple of vegan options, but they're really, really good. Oh wait, no, and Pizza Cleta. I have to throw a Pizza Cleta because their vegan pies are so good. Definitely. I'm, I'm definitely all for <laughs> the bonus number four. Um, but this place is really cool too. It's not a vegan place, but it's got good beer. Where are we? Cheers. Mother... Mother... I was like, Mother Earth? No, Mother Road. Mother Road. Mother, yeah, Mother Earth would be a vegan place. <laughs> it would be a vegan place. <laughs> yeah, but Flagstaff has been awesome for vegan food and hiking and everything. It kind of has everything I like, except for that and train. And train. Uh, you don't like the train? It comes by a little too often for my taste, <laughs> I think, but you know, it's still, it's pretty cool. And it has a lot of animals. <laughs> oh, oh my God, perfect. <laughs> that was Downward awesome. Downward dog. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a waffle? It's a peanut butter cacao waffle. Gluten free, dairy free. <laughs> wow. Looks amazing. <laughs> yep. Chocolatey. <laughs> peanut buttery. It's good. And healthy. And healthy. Vegetable <laughs> <laughs> straw. Alright, now that we're safely crossing the street. So this is the local juicery. There's one in Flagstaff, one in Sedona. This one's better. Well, because it's in Flagstaff. <laughs> <laughs> the Sedona one is the original one. It has a special place. So we are at Dark Sky Brewing, which is also where the pizza shop, Pizza Cleta, is. And we had some of their pizza the other night. The vegan cashew cheese pizza was amazing. The olives were the, uh, the dark horse uh, standout though. They're amazing. So we just got a giant plate of olives. I didn't think it was gonna be that many, but the barrel aged beer is also delicious. So uh, if you wanna get up some vegan pizza and have really good beer, I recommend this place very highly. What do you think? Everything down there. See, that, I just have her here to say yes to everything I say. <laughs> All right, so we're here walking around downtown Flagstaff at night. I'm here with Kristen again. If you don't follow her on social media, you really should. I'll put her links down below, so you check her out. I've, I've gotten the, the opportunity to check out some of the best 
vegan and vegetarian places in Flagstaff, thanks to Kristen's recommendations. So I'm gonna let her tell you a little bit about them. Right, so if you're coming here, you've gotta check out Red Curry Vegan Kitchen. It's the only, well, there is another vegan place, but we'll just say it's the only vegan place here because I don't wanna recommend the other one. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's really, anything you get at Red Curry Vegan Kitchen is good. I, I like it a lot. And then we've got Sasoba, which is like a ramen noodle bar. They've got two vegan dishes, the Mothra and the SUV. They're both really good. Um, Martens is a Mexican place. They have the Emmet, which is their signature vegan dish, and it's so He's a vegan. good. Hmm? It says Emmet. He's a vegan. He's <laughs> a my... vegan, it says, yes. <laughs> um, and it's just really like fresh and light Mexican. It does have seitan in it, but it's really good. Or, and it's really good. Oh, did oh, I get it. them all? Yeah, you got them all. Okay. Good job. I got them all. Check well, them out. And you're already talking about local juicery, right? Yeah, we checked that out. And we went to Late for the Train, which has some vegan stuff. Oh yeah, and uh, Cedar. Cedar Creek Coffee, Cedar, Cedar House. House Coffee Shop has amazing vegan pastries. Um, yeah, there's some decent stuff here. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, from what I've had, everything is great here. There's a lot of uh, non-dairy milk options and a lot of vegan options at the places that are not 100% vegan to begin with. So it's a very like welcoming vegan kind of community. So highly recommend these places and just walk around downtown because there's a lot of cool spots and cool breweries and it's just a beautiful little town to and walk it's around. Super walkable. You can park anywhere and walk all over. It's cool. Yeah. Everything is very close. Yeah, if you're willing to walk, you can kind of get anywhere really quickly. So, yeah. check it out. Flagstaff is one of my favorite places I've somehow waited a long time to, to find out is an awesome place. So, check it out if you're in the area. And uh, thanks for watching and subscribing. See you guys in the next video. Make sure you check out Kristen. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>